Hello, welcome to Texas Cooking. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful little vegetable? This is fennel, okay? It has a light, sweet flavor to it. It is a wonderful vegetable. And I'm going to show you how to cook this. I hope you give this a try. It's very sweet, it's very tasty, and I think once you try it once, you're going to be hooked. Okay? We're going to show you what a fennel looks like in the grocery store and then just move on from there. Please stick with me. Welcome back to Texas Cooking. I'm S.A. Trotter, your host. Today we're going to talk about a nice, neat little vegetable. You may have seen these things in the grocery store and maybe not known what they were. Sometimes you'll see them listed as annies or sometimes as fennel. Frankly, everything from here up, that's annies. Everything that's the lower portion, the bulb, that would be fennel, okay? Well, that's to be technical about it. The fennel is what we're going to mess with today. Okay, now, this vegetable is a really neat one. It's very popular throughout Europe. This vegetable is also uh, widely eaten in other parts of the world. Okay, it has a slightly licorice-like flavor to it, and it is sweet. Don't be afraid of it, and don't back away from it because of that. It does not taste like licorice uh, candy. It tastes, well... It tastes unique and it is very good. Like I said, slightly licorice flavor, sweet, but also there's other flavors there that are quite strong and uh, you will notice them right off. Now, this is used as a spice, as an additive to salads and soups, and as a, a, a vegetable. Uh, a lot of the upper green portions are, are added to like soups and things like that, or you could chop this up and put it into a sandwich for flavor along with some basil. That would be very unique with maybe some... Uh, prosciutto and uh, fresh mozzarella and things like that. So, and that would be a very Mediterranean thing, okay? And this is a very Italian herb and very Italian vegetable. Now, the green portion here, these stalks can be sliced thin and added to salads and things like that. Do not try slicing them thick. They're extremely fibrous. They do not cook well, uh, not that I've ever found. Maybe there's some dishes that I can find someday that they will cook well in. Now, what we're going to do today is the Italian dish, which is baked fennel. First thing, I'm going to remove the green portion, and I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to save it to be used later. It's an absolutely good vegetable. Okay, now, this bowl, I'm simply going to make this easy work. I'm going to quarter it, and that's all there is to it. But the bottom down here has a scab on it, and sometimes this one outer layer, which can be fairly thick, can be a bit tough. I go ahead and bake mine and that way if it is tough I can just sort it out after the baking but if it tenderizes hey I've got good vegetable to use. Now I want to remove this bottom scab just make you a real thin slice on that. There we are. Now that's going to be really tough. Make sure your knife is real super sharp. When you're cutting through stuff like that you don't want to be forcing your knife through a vegetable. It needs to be good and sharp so that it will slice through easily. Now I want to quarter this. There we go. Now usually I say in steel pans, I prefer them. Sometimes I will use a smaller pan or a glass pan, and that's what I have today. Uh, because I'm going to be cooking this actually in a small oven. It's a, uh, a miniature convection oven. I'm going to start by lining the bottom of my pan with just a little olive oil. It does not take much. Make sure you use extra virgin olive oil. The flavor of it is pronounced and very good tasting. Uh, other olive oils that are just pure olive oil, you don't get that flavor at all. It's just basically an oil to keep something from sticking. So then it's sort of a waste and you might as well get something less expensive if you're going to lubricate your pans with anything other than extra virgin. Now, once the pan is lined, and if you'll notice a lot of times I combine fats, like here's some olive oil and then I'll have butter with it, and uh, you'll hear me say things like, oh, well, it improves the texture. Well, in a way it does. It improves the sheen. What this, uh, this oil does is it gives it a, a, a brighter gloss when you're cooking sauces and things like that. But in a case like this, there isn't a sauce. What I'm trying to do is, A, keep this from sticking, and B, 
uh, add some flavor to it, but also I want to add some more flavor, butter, which is really good. And the neat thing is, is some of the monounsaturated fats in this olive oil will help balance the saturated fats in this and carry these out of your body. Okay, so it just makes it a little healthier. Now, we're going to put these in here. Doesn't matter how you put them in or how you arrange them. And then I'm just going to cut some butter and we are going to put this in an oven at about 350 degrees. Go. Be careful how you handle your equipment. Like right then my butter was sticking even though I have relief curves. Sometimes they don't work. Okay. butter will cook down into the uh, pieces of um, fennel. It'll give it a much richer flavor. It'll also mix in uh, with some of the olive oil. I'm going to put some more of that over the top of them. That way they have both within them. The brand of olive oil, you're just going to have to try different brands and see which one you like. Okay, I'm not going to advocate any brand. There we go. A little messy there. Not a problem. I keep lots of towels around the kitchen to pick up things like that. But always keep some handy. There we go. Now, I'm going to do one more thing. Actually, two more things to season this. I'm going to put some Parmesan on it. Now, Parmesan has a naturally salty side to it, so I don't want too much extra salt, just slightly. And butter has some salt in it. You know, it's just a few light grains of sea salt, and that's going to bring out some of the flavors more so than it's going to make them salty. That's what I'm looking for. That's the reason I'm baking that into it. Here we go. Parmesan. There's some extra flavor there. Your Parmesan, just go ahead and use something that you would normally have around the house. You know, like usually the grated Parmesan is what people buy. Sometimes if you have a whole uh, block of Parmesan or shredded, that would be wonderful also. All of them will work fine. Okay, it's all prepared. All I have to do is bake this now. This fennel, every bo fennel bulb seems to take a different amount of time to cook, I've noticed. But on average, around 40 to uh, 50 minutes. And that will also be altitude dependent. And uh, here I'm at an altitude, you know, roughly around two, 300 feet above sea level. Uh, so take that into account. If you're at high uh, altitude, then this is going to take a couple of hours to cook, all right? When you can slide a fork into it and it comes out easy by itself without sticking uh, or the uh, bolt sticking to it, it's done. Okay, you're finished at that point. Hope you enjoy this dish. Now, what we're going to be doing next, go ahead and put this in the oven. And uh, at that point, bake it up for about 45 minutes. I'm going to check it to make sure it's tender with that fork. And when I'm finished, we'll pull it out, let you take a look at it, and see what baked fennel looks like. It's a wonderful dish. Put this with steak, put it with chicken. It is a wonderful accompaniment to almost any meat. So give it a try at least once in your life. Hey, it's worth giving it a shot. And I bet you'll be stuck on it afterwards. Okay, I have uh, pulled that fennel out of the oven and has been baking now for about 50 minutes. Look how it's turned this beautiful golden brown color. I'm going to lift this dish slightly to make it easier to see. Beautiful golden color and of course the oil in the bottom of the pan here. If you wish to spoon a little of that over it, it'll have a lot of extra flavor in it. It'll be very good. Let me push the fork in here. Oh, look at that. It slides right out. This is done. Very tender. These are going to be really, really wonderful. And uh, I recommend that everyone try this at least one time. One thing's for sure, you're going to love it or you're going to be um, so so about it and partial. I've never seen anybody that really just hated it. So uh, give it a shot and enjoy good eating.